the Confederates employed their necks in a series of secret weapons against the Union ships blockading the harbor. A boat called the CSS David had been built by a civilian as a private venture. Civilians at times built military vessels because if they were successful in sinking a Union ship, they would be paid a bounty by the Confederate government. This is a full-scale replica of the David. It was shaped as a cigar and was designed to sail very low in the water. It resembled a submarine, but it never went under the water. Its weapon was a spar torpedo. 75 pounds of gunpowder on a 10-foot pole, which it would ram into the hull of its enemy and blow up the ship. It was named the David probably after David and Goliath. She had a crew of four, a captain, pilot, engineer, and fireman to man her steam engine. She set out on October 5th after sunset to attempt an attack on the new Ironsides, the largest ironclad in the Union Navy. They were spotted 50 yards away, and the Union sailors fired at her with the only weapons immediately available, shotguns and rifles. The commander of the new Ironsides reported the occurrence to Washington. At 9 p.m., discovered a very peculiar looking steamer, which at first appeared like a boat, standing toward our starboard beam from seaward. Hailed her rapidly four times, and she making no reply, fired into her with musketry, and she returned fire, dangerously wounding Ensign C.W. Howard in charge of the deck. The steamer struck us near number six port, starboard side, exploding a large torpedo, shaking the vessel, and throwing up an immense column of water, part of which fell on our decks. A huge hole was blown in the side of the new Ironsides, and water was thrown high into the air. The water, when falling, fell down David's smokestack and put out the fire in her engine. The David was damaged from the shock of the explosion, and the captain ordered it to be abandoned. Ensign Cannon couldn't swim, but the other three decided to try to swim to shore, under fire from the new Ironsides. Engineer Toom decided to go back to the torpedo boat, and he was able to get the fire going again and sail back to Charleston safely. The two abandoned ships were captured by the new Ironsides. That ship was damaged by the attack, but the crew worked fast and was able to close the hole before the ship sunk. After leaving for a few days for repairs, she was soon back on the blockade. Although the David failed in its ultimate purpose of sinking a ship, it proved that the concept was workable. Many copies of the David were built everywhere in the South hoping to further her achievement. The David made two other attacks on federal vessels, but never was able to sink a ship. Once the torpedo did not explode, and on the last attack, she was sighted before she was able to set it off. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with your friend. You can also visit www.discerninghistory.com for more videos and other resources.